G'day viewers. I want to show you some of the great things that you can do with Finale Notepad 2006 version regarding changing the music notation to other formats. Now you can't do this in the latest version of Finale Notepad and they are going to take the, the applications off the market soon so if you like what you see here uh, you should grab it quickly. Here's my arrangement of Smoke on the Water and I'll just play it. You press the space bar and click where you want it to start. Right, now let's um, view this in 400 magnification so we can look at it closely. Center it with the scroll bars there. And here. Okay, now that's in ordinary notation, but suppose you don't know what these notes are because they're way down below the treble and you want to change the form to notes that have letter names in them. You go to my converter file here and with the mass edit tool on, select letter names and control C copy and go back to here and control V paste. There you go, letter names. Now you might come from a country that doesn't use letter names, it uses sulfur instead, no problem. Sulfur, major sulfur, control C, copy, paste, and there you go, sulfur notes. Alright, now um, we have alternative sort of music notations that I'm very interested in. Um, to look them up you go to the music notation project. Here's twin line, copy and paste, and there you go, twin line notes. My own invention is Express Dave, and I'm choosing the middle register for these ones from Express Dave, copy and paste, and there's Express Dave of the same piece. Okay. Now you might want to double stave so that you can encompass a wider range. So control C copy, paste, there you go, it's a double stave, it's got both the treble and the bass embedded. Now this bass stave is a bit in the way, so what we could do is copy that, control C copy, and paste it in to the big stave. It copies it in but doesn't erase the other parts because um, they're in different colors. But this base stave, the original one's in the way now, so we want to make that invisible. Let's select that and we just go to invisible stave, control C, copy and paste. The invisible stave gets rid of it then. Okay, so that's all in express stave. Um, Let's go back a step now. Control Z or Z. Undo, undo. So I've got back to where the base part wasn't copied in. Let's have a look at twin lines some more. And this time I'll go to a larger twin line stave here. Three octave twin line copy and paste. Twin line uses triangles as well as ovals, and you can see that all these intervals of fourths come out with this consistent look. It's an odd interval, it's um, five semitones or five half steps in size, perfect fourth, and so it comes out as an odd looking interval. Right, now um, if you want to play this on guitar and you can't read music, you want it in guitar tab, let's choose guitar tab here, copy and paste. There you go, guitar tab. Now you might look at this and say, hey, but that's not right because guitarists don't play this on a different string, they play it all on the same two strings. No problem. Pick a large note value and just click on that one, drag it down to the proper strings and it'll change the number to be correct for that, the fret number for that, um, that notation. Now you might think I've changed the notation. Now, suppose we want to go back to original. Go back to here, restore original, 
Oh, you've got to go back to Mace Edit Tool first. Restore original, copy. Go back to there, paste, and it restores back to original. And you can see that the notes actually haven't changed. They're still the same. Right. Um, now, suppose we want to do a comparison here. Um, let's get rid of this base. Um, just press backspace to make it disappear. And then I'm going to copy the original treble, which is pretty low. Copy, Control C, into the base. So then we see the difference. The same notes written underneath the treble as written in the bass clef. I'm going to do one last thing now. I'm going to change this to Express Dave Bass. Copy the bass for Express Dave notation. Paste it in. Now we can compare. You can see here that the note in the middle of the bass, which is D, comes out in the middle of the Express Dave. And the note that's in the top space, G, is also in the top space. So Express Dave is just like ordinary bass, except you don't have these middle lines here and here. And white notes are written as white notes. I mean, white keys on the piano are white notes. Now here's a B flat. Look how it comes out in Express Dave. It's just like a B flat, but it's a black note. The F has a little bit of the line within it from the original. Now if you look at the middle C here, it doesn't look much like a middle C there. And that's because in ordinary notation, the C was in a space below the middle D here in, in this octave. And then when you move up to this octave, it becomes a line note so that there's no octave similarity whereas Express Dave maintains octave similarity so that the C which is under this D would look exactly like that but under here. Um, so the, the one um, advantage of, of Express Dave is it maintains octave similarity throughout all the staves and all the registers. Now we can do a cool thing and that is um, use the undo function here and have a look at all the things we've done. So I'm just pressing Control Z or Control Z over and over to look through it all. From comparing Express Dave with ordinary notation, we go through to the notation under the treble compared with the bass, the original bass in layer 2, tab notation before it was changed and corrected, twin line 3 octave staves, double Express Dave, middle register Express Dave, middle register twin line notation, Solfar letter name notes, letter name notes with alphabetical names, and back to the original. And that's it. Now the thing is, you can't do this with the latest versions of Finale Notepad. It's free at the moment. You should download Finale Notepad 2006 version quickly. They're going to A, make you pay for it, and B, take off the functions of this. This does not work in later versions of Finale Notepad because, well, for the simple reason that if you copy a blank stave and paste it over music, you'll just end up getting a blank stave. So this is tremendously useful, and so please um, have a grab it while you can. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.